how to be good at maths and complete the entire class 10 icse board syllabus within two weeks by watching this video till the end i will assure you you will know how to finish the entire math portion within two weeks just imagine the entire syllabus entire year syllabus easily here are some tips and tricks and that is what i'm going to be sharing today this is a book I have. It's Concise Mathematics. There are two books that students use generally. It's Concise Selena book and the other book is ML Agarwal. Whichever book your school is preferring, that is a book you should stick to. If you have the time, if you want to do something extra, then you could do both. But it is definitely not required. Like one book is 100% sufficient. If you do one book completely, you will score a 100 out of 100. ICSE Class 10 Maths Board Exam. There are a total of 25 chapters in this book but 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 some chapters have been deleted like shares and dividends completing the entire math syllabus in 14 days is easy if you follow this rule you are supposed to do two chapters in one day along with other subjects also how to do that that sounds so difficult right but 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 it is very easy very procedural you just need to give two hours a day and trust me you will be good not more than that is required. So open the chapter, start reading from here, introduction, read it very nice. So for example, on day one, you're doing GST and banking. These are the two chapters, just do it in order. Then take your pencil and one highlighter, keep reading it and highlight the important words and the important things that you need to know. After that, you will see there are some examples in the textbook itself, some questions with the answers that are given. Like see there are examples and like example number 5 and 6 are important as I have marked I will show the entire book also to you which examples are important and which are not but 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 we are supposed to do each and every example just do it every chapter has not more than 20 examples so you can easily do it you know just take your textbook first read the entire theory read the example question if you've already done it i would recommend doing it again just for motivation and memory revision purposes if you've not done it don't worry you're not too late it's still really easily doable so when you see the answer solution first you need to cover it try to solve it on your own get an answer even if it's right just check the solution once try to see what mistakes you've made or if you've done it correctly is there any other method you can do it with and try to write the entire thing down again yeah again two times two times if your answer or method is wrong then just take the solution in the textbook and write it down as it is like try to learn it and then write it down yes maths is not supposed to be mugged up obviously you need a lot of practice but i would tell you if you do all the examples once i know there will be some difficult examples but most examples are very easy you can easily do it like seven examples if you can't do like 30 questions in one day it will be very hard for you you know even in the board exam when you're giving the exam you have to do so many questions and from the entire syllabus like kaha kaha se question aega, you will not even know and so if you don't practice like 30 questions or 40 questions a day it will be very hard for you as well like that you can easily complete the entire syllabus within two weeks just imagine two chapters a day so i would tell you do gst banking together linear equations and quadratic equations together or you could do linear equations and reflection together i know it does not make sense to you right now but there is a little bit of connection you know with coordinate geometry and linear equations that you will understand maybe in the later classes or you might know already quadratic equations has two chapters on its own so do that together and don't skip out on those questions where product of roots sum of roots don't skip that i skipped it in 10th somehow and 11th made just came and i was like so like whoa how okay how kaise, okay yeah that was a bit shocking for me in 11th but it's there in 10th learn it nicely do it just select any two chapters that you want and these chapters are very very easy you can easily score a hundred out of hundred and for maths once you've completed the 14 days do two two chapters every single day for the next 14 days whenever you're watching this video it's your turn to start right now you start it from tomorrow plan your chapters and put a sticky note in front of your table or your desk wherever you're sitting you know your study table just put a sticky note and write down all the chapter numbers like one two three four 
before and write the name beside it every day just cross out two chapters it will be so motivating for you and trust me once you do this you will be so happy and especially when the teacher will be teaching in class and you will be ahead of your peers it's just a very nice feeling you know so once you're done with this i would tell you check out the 10 year question papers just download the marking scheme i will definitely share it with you just as you're done with this you will be so proud of yourself first of all when you complete your 14 days and come back revise revise keep revising you know on day 1 when you're doing chapter number 1 and 2 then on day 2 you're doing chapter number 3 and 4 but but on that same day come back to chapter 1 and 2 and revise whichever questions you were not able to do just mark it or the important questions that you have marked go through that entire thing again whichever questions you have done correctly which you have done incorrectly just go through both of those separately very nicely and on day 3 revise chapter 1 2 3 4 on day 4 revise 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that you need to go and by the end of the 14 days the entire journey you will be thorough with the entire syllabus so nicely that no one can stop you from getting 100 out of 100 i personally have been good at maths but i'm telling you this method will work for even the weakest student or if you're really good at it it will work for everyone this is like a one rule that fits all you know and trust me just try it out for yourself and let me know in the comments if you're going to do it write in the comments right now that i am doing this challenge 14 day challenge complete the entire syllabus easily start 10 year papers very fast watch this video where i shared the 10 year papers very nicely how to do the 10 year papers and see the marking scheme don't forget to see the marking scheme it is very very important other marking scheme se nahi karoge to fir it will be very difficult it is very important just see it i got my laptop so for maths marking scheme you might think is not that important just because there is step marking and whenever you are writing the answer every single answer that you practice even when you are practicing at home write the formula again and again you need to write the formula every single time every single question even if you are doing hundreds of questions write the formula again and again because if you don't write it in the paper you will straight away get a zero if you don't write the formula or you don't do the step see the question and you write down the answer you're not going to get even a single mark also check out the specimen papers just to get an idea lekin usse related nahi rahega board exam ka jo paper hota hai the final exam paper that you're going to give and the specimen paper will not have any common questions it's not going to be the same just telling you so you're not shocked like not even one question is repeated but if you do the 10 years you will find a lot of repetitions the same question is asked again and again i have each and every subject for many years I could show you all the subjects, all the years. I have everything with me. So if you want, let me know in the comments. But trust me, it will help you a lot. It's very, very good. Here I'm showing you the ICSE Class 10 Match Marking Scheme for the year 2020. So here you can see in every single answer they've given the formula needs to be written, and in every answer the formula is written along with some comments for the examiner, suggestions for the teacher. Just see it very nicely. like every single answer is given so nicely every step is written even you are supposed to write it just as i'm showing you every single step needs to be written ek ek cheez likhna you cannot just skip anything you know that is where you lose most marks and here are some general comments like where you know topics that students found difficult linear inequation matrix multiplication graphs i will share this pdf with you if you want and even for other subjects i have all of them let me know if you need it and here are some suggestions for students which are very very important just read it nicely i'll also read it for you a little bit read all questions carefully utilize reading time judiciously just make the right choices of questions exactly what is important i shared in the last video also how you're supposed to do 10 years and how to use the marking scheme and how to utilize reading time well show all steps of working give specific and logical reasoning convert units you know round of the answers logarithm table plotting graphs every single thing is mentioned in this pdf i will share it to you if you want 
बट इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जस्ट टू गो थ्रू इट एंड राइट एवरी सिंगल आंसर लाइक दिस फर्स्ट टू मेक द डायग्राम एंड एवरी पॉइंट नीड्स टू बी मैंशनड एस्पेशली विथ लॉन्ग आंसर्स फॉर जोमेट्री क्वेश्चन द रीजनिंग नीड्स टू बी गिवन वेरी नाइसली इन अ प्रॉपर टेबल देन वेन यू आर डूइंग हिस्टोग्राम्स एंड graph questions do it very carefully don't make mistakes and for example if you are doing this question you know just see how they've written every single line like they've not skipped anything you are supposed to do the same and that is how you will score good marks like 100 out of 100 in maths hmm?